Jason Allen here from Play It Software. Today I'm going to take you through a brief explanation and demonstration of Play It Manager. Now imagine you have Play It Live running in one of your studios and then you want to add a second Play It Live to another studio. Normally you would have to manage the track and schedule data on each of those machines, duplicating the amount of work you have to do. Now what you can do is insert a, another program called Play It Manager. Now Play It Manager is a server application which you use from a web browser and you can connect each of the Play It Live instances to Play It Manager and then the Play It Manager data is then synchronized to each Play It Live instance, meaning you just manage it in one place eradicating the need to do it multiple times. The audio that is added to Play It Manager is stored on the Play It Manager machine. So you need to set up each Play It Live machine to point to the Play It Manager audio data so you can play the audio on each of the Play It Live machines. So I'm gonna show you how to do that today. Let's get started. So we can start by downloading Play It Manager from playitsoftware.com forward slash manager. So once that's complete, you can just click on the installer, have a read through the license agreements, and then once you're ready, click I agree. And I step through the rest of the installer, and this will install Play It Manager on your machine. Once that's complete, you can just double click on the icon will open Play It Manager. If you're running this for the first time, it will open in a web browser. So here we are, up and running. So first of all, you'll have to sign in with your Play It software account to associate a demo license for Play It Manager. So we can do that just by clicking on Log into your Play It software account and log in with your details. So that will apply the license automatically. As you can see, I already have a license. So first of all, you want to add some tracks and click on add new tracks. So to upload some tracks, all you got to do is click in the box at the top and then you can select some files. So as you can see, I'm already in the songs folder. So I just select some songs that are of interest to me and click open. This will select these files and allow me to upload these to Play it Manager. So these files will be stored in the audio store folder in the program data for Play It Manager. We'll be able to retrieve these files later to allow Play It Live to use them. So we'll click upload, it will upload these tracks. Obviously I'm running Play It Manager locally on my own machine, so uploading 34 files at 277 megabytes will be uh, a lot quicker than if you're running it on a remote server with a slower internet connection. So as you can see, I can get a progress for each of those tracks being uploaded. And these have now completed. So this is encouraging me to go to my track list to look at them or to add some track groups. So if I look at my track list, you can see each of the tracks that I've just added. So now that we've added some tracks to Play It Manager, we can now go to Play It Live and connect to Play It Manager. So I'm gonna do this on the same machine that Play It Manager is running on. So here is Play It Live. So to connect to Play It Manager, all you've got to do is go to File and Connect to Play It Manager. This will bring up the Connect to Play It Manager window. And all you've got to do is enter the server URL. Now, what's the server URL you're asking? Well, if you go back to Play It Manager and click on the Connect Play It Live button, this will give you a clue as what to enter for the server URL. So if you grab this address here, and copy this and drop this into Play It Live and click on Connect. This has immediately brought up all the Play It Manager data. So you can see here that I've got uh, Adele and all these other tracks that I've added. I drag and drop these. You'll see I can now drop them into my log. Now let's take a look at a, another machine which I can also connect to Play It Manager. So this is my other machine, this is my Windows 10 machine. Looks very similar, you can tell the difference from the, the bar at the top is a, is a nice white color when they changed it. So I can connect this machine to Play It Manager, same deal, so I can go to 
connect to play manager put in my server url and click connect this will bring up the exact same data so, oh oh we've hit a problem so this is trying to load the music that currently exists on the play it manager machine in the program data folder but we can't load that music so we're going to need to tell play it manager how to remap all the audio files so all the play it live machines know where that music is i'll show you how i'm going to do this now so on the play it manager machine all the audio that we've uploaded to play it manager is stored in the program data play it manager folder and in that folder is an audio store folder which we need to make available to all the other machines that play it live is running on so the audio store is located at c program data play it manager this will bring up this folder now the folder that you're interested in here is the audio store folder so if you right click on the audio store folder and choose properties and then go to the sharing tab and advanced sharing you can share this folder with a name such as audio store and you want to check the permissions so that everyone has access to read this will allow any user that's a user on this machine to be able to read the contents of this audio store folder from anywhere on your network so once we've shared that we can jump back to play manager and we need to create a track path substitution which is a mapping between the original file path and a network file path that each play it live machine can understand so here i will be replacing my c drive program data play it manager audio store folder with simply my machine is called json desktop so backslash backslash json desktop will indicate the json desktop machine and my share is called audio store so basically what will happen here is when play it live it sees a c program data play it manager audio store file path it will replace that with json desktop audio store on the network so we can make that save now and if we now go back to our play it live machine on the network I'll just cancel off these notifications and drop this in you can see that it is now loading the audio from the network and this will load and play successfully so we take a look at the track group list here we've only got our one track group for all tracks so we might want to add some track groups now you can't do this via play it live anymore you've got to do everything via play it manager because it's the central store for all your data so jumping back to play it manager we can now click on track groups now we've no track groups here so we can create a new one so we want to go add new track group and choose let's go for a listed track group now a listed track group is for creating track groups with just a list of tracks so you might use this for creating a playlist or something that just indicates a set list of tracks that you're interested in so here i can just name this track playlist a and i can click add more tracks to add some tracks to this track group here we've got our list of the tracks that we're interested in so i'll just choose the top four here just for a demonstration and i can go add selected tracks this will populate the tracks in my track group and i can hit save so this will now tell me that i've got four tracks in this playlist and what the magic that's happened is these have now appeared in play it live on both machines so i can go to my machine here on the windows 10 machine and i can see that my playlist a track list has appeared on the windows 10 machine if I jump to the Windows 7 machine, you can see that exactly the same thing has happened on the Windows 7 machine. So the data is immediately synchronized. So Play Manager has been designed to save you from having to duplicate data across multiple Play Live instances. This should save you time and allow you to keep everything synchronized and have you running multiple studios 
in no time. You can download Player Manager from playitsoftware.com forward slash manager. And if you have any questions or queries, please feel free to comment them below. I've been Jason Allen from Play It Software.